One of the most common questions I get asked is where can I learn more about information security? So this is normally people who are young in their career and they want to learn more in order to progress their career. Now career progression can be broken down into two things. There's those things you do in order to learn and there's those things that you do in order to progress your career and these two things aren't always the same. For example, getting a certification doesn't necessarily mean that you actually learn much but it puts a good nice tick on your uh, CV that recruiters will look at and say ah he's done this certification he must be good but it doesn't really necessarily prove that you actually know that subject very well. We can talk about career progression things in another video this time I just want to focus on education and more importantly where can you learn things for free or, or very very cheaply which I think is one of the biggest challenges that up-and-coming security stars face. First off you have the internet. The internet is a fantastic resource. You've got websites such as SecurityTube um, which have a list of videos that just go on and on and on. Any topic you want you will find a video on there. Maybe you're watching this video on that on SecurityTube right now, who knows. Secondly, there are loads of really good blogs out there, places like Infosec Island, I, you know I, I'm a big fan of, uh, but there are plenty of other independent blogs, even vendor driven blogs, that might, might sound a bit weird, but even vendors sometimes put out some really good white papers and blogs and articles that really help one's understanding in what the challenges are, where the industry is moving, and, and I wouldn't say just stick to one blog or one set of websites to look, but rather expand your horizon, look at everything, look at a mixture of independent people's ranty blogs, look at uh, some vendor blogs, look at some uh, news websites and see what their take on an article is and then put them all together and do your own analysis and somewhere in between you will find the, the truth, <laughs> the truth is out there. Yeah, um, the truth is out there it's not an exact science and that's the thing everyone's got a different opinion a different take and by reading all of this you will absorb more information and hopefully learn a bit more or you'll just get confused to bits another really good resource are these free open source uh, Linux distributions where people have prepackaged a ton of security tools all into one distribution that you can download onto your virtual machine and play around with to your heart's content. Something like Node Zero is absolutely fantastic. It's got a million and one, well okay maybe not a million and one, it's got a lot of security tools on there, more than what you know you probably really use on a day-to-day -day basis. But you can go through a lot of them, you can read the documentation, understand how do you actually go about testing and retesting and finding vulnerabilities and then well, if you found a vulnerability how do you then go about closing it. It's all good learning. Another great thing we have in our industry are conferences. What, you mean other industries have conferences too? News to me. But a lot of these are free or very cheap to attend. Other than the actual formal conferences, you also have like monthly get-togethers such, such as OWASP meetings, uh, DEF CON local chapters, uh, maybe you'll find a B-Sides Acoustic uh, somewhere in London. These are all free to go to you'll hear someone give a talk, a presentation on something and it's probably something that you know you wouldn't read up yourself or you wouldn't have thought of something in that manner and it's really great and not only do you get a chance to hear from a speaker on a particular topic which they know very well generally but you also get the great opportunity to network with other security people who maybe in your own working environment you don't get to meet that many maybe your security department is very small maybe there's only about three of you and you know, they, you all know just as much as each other or the guy who knows a lot, he doesn't want to talk to you. But you go to these conferences or networking events and people are willing to talk to you for hours. I mean, you find someone who who can talk about, you know, something that you're working on or, you know, you, you need some help with some PHP code or whatever. And you will find someone that, that will help you. Which brings me on to my final point, which is mentoring. There are people out there who've worked in the industry for 20, 30 years. There's people whose beards are older than what you are right now. I'm looking at you, Jack Daniel. The great thing is that you can find someone who's not just experienced in information security,
but who's also travelled the the political minefield that is our, our organisations these days. They they understand how relationships are made and broken in these places and why certain things are done in certain ways. And it's always really good. And all it takes you really is just to go up and ask. And you know, sometimes you can have a really formal relationship with a mentor who, who will like set you down on a regular basis and you know give you a some advice and measure it and track it and other times it's a very informal loose sort of connection you just go up to them ad hoc and say hey can you help me out with this or drop them an email and uh, it's a two-way process really because it's it's not just beneficial for a mentee if that's the right term but the mentor as well because they actually sometimes get stuck in a rut I mean you, you could be doing the same thing for five ten years and you know you 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 just get familiar with doing it just that way and sometimes when you get someone young and you know with a new perspective <laughs> someone young no I know what you're all thinking no I don't mean it like that I mean when you get someone who's new to the field and they bring a different perspective to it all and you can actually learn a lot from them so it's just as beneficial for people who've been in the game a long time as it is for new people and on that note I suppose I'll leave you with this thought of how mentoring really works in the real world. Stay secure my friends. Hey Chief, how's it going? I tell you what, why don't you get yourself and your script kiddies an ice cream and let the grown-ups do the talking. Why don't you go and paint your beard? I have you know, this is my natural beard colour. No it isn't. Feel it. Why are you touching him? She was a lucky learning the ropes. He was a cynic who'd forgotten the ropes. But now they face their toughest challenge yet. You two deserve each other. You're partners. One mentor and one mentee are teaming up to learn from each other. Linux or Mac? Linux. That's good. Because I have no idea how the command line works. In fact, like you. Infosec Mentors. Sign up today.